Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Good afternoon. We made it to the middle of the week. We only had a little bit of rain this morning, but there's some on the way later this week. You can see that from our rain totals, there were some showers that moved in from another one of those upper level waves in the west. And as it did, it tracked across the area, but we couldn't get much out of it. In fact, only a few hundreds here and there. Alice picked up two hundreds. So this is going to be the case again tonight. I think we could have a couple more of these little showers that work their way in and then fall apart by tomorrow morning. Right now, though, all is pretty quiet out there. Little bit of rain trying to make it in through Duval County and up into uh, Jim Wells County, but that's been falling apart. So nothing left but sprinkles to that. Plus, we have a lot of sunshine this afternoon. That has certainly helped warm things up and take a look at these temperatures. It's almost out of control out there. We have 94 degrees at Alice, 80, 85 at Mathis right now, Kingsville at 90, and Robstown, you are at 88 degrees. I'm sure you've noticed it if you've been outdoors. It's very warm, it's humid, 85 Corpus. Christie, even Port Aransas up to 76. The wind this afternoon shifted around a little bit to the south and that helped to bring temperatures up with all that sunshine we had and it's still windy out there in Corpus Christi. 30 mile an hour winds not quite as strong as you head inland or even right at the beaches. It's right along that coastal plain here. We're seeing the strongest winds this afternoon. So tomorrow and into Friday, the first half of the day Friday still looks pretty windy before the winds shift around with our cold front. So it's going to be pretty gusty out there the next two days, but there it is. The northeast wind, we cool down Saturday with that. It doesn't last long. Take a look. We go from northeast back to a southeast wind Sunday. Sunday's the lightest day for winds of the weekend, and then we're right back into that warm, humid air with our onshore flow. So here's your forecast tonight. Near 70 degrees, the low clouds move back inland. There is a chance we could pick up a shower tonight, especially in our inland areas. Tomorrow's a very warm day again and windy. And we'll have partial sunshine again in the afternoon with those gusts as high as 35 miles an hour tomorrow. So what we've been seeing here is we have a big upper level low spinning in the southwest. That has been causing these disturbances to shoot off of it and pull into southwest Texas. The next one right here is going to cause a big area of thunderstorms late this afternoon. These are going to be blowing up and into tonight and pulling across north central Texas where there's severe weather possible. This front is eventually going to work its way in here Friday afternoon and it's going to be met up with some cooler air from the north and that's when we see our brief cool down for Saturday. As we look at our uh, severe storm potential tonight, again, it's really going to be under the gun here in north central Texas for severe storms. Very uh, strong indeed. Tomorrow, that chance mainly moves off to the northeast, but you'll notice there is a marginal risk for San Antonio and some of our far northwest counties. Tomorrow night, we could see a couple of storms in our inland areas. Let me show you that. This is future track and this is the, uh, Wednesday evening. This evening you can see it's quiet. Showers move in late tonight in our inland areas from the west. Those die out. May see a brief shower tomorrow morning. And then as we head into uh, Thursday, it's partly sunny, windy and warm tomorrow. But tomorrow night, keeping an eye on this, some thunderstorms are possible with heavy rain inland. Those would weaken very quickly as they pull to the east, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. We can get some rain out of those, a good dose, before they fall apart toward Friday morning. Here comes our front. That's going to bring scattered light showers to the area Friday and into Saturday. That rain continues as the front starts to move back around as a cold, as a warm front, and we warm back up Sunday. Potential future rain. Highest totals look like they could be inland. We're talking possibly up to two inches. That's in our watershed. Wouldn't that be nice? And that's with some of those heavier storms tomorrow night. And again, Saturday, some decent rain. Corpus Christi, though, maybe just a quarter inch to a half an inch of rain. Here's your seven day forecast. There's the cool down. Friday is still warm ahead of that front. And then Saturday, we're much cooler in the 60s. Best chance of rain is Saturday. Next week, we're right back to the warm, humid weather.